Uh, here's a cartoon I wanted to share. This is basically uh, uh, how you get your first assignment. This is very common. It can be at any one of these steps. Um, it could be the, the, the postdoc that's being asked by their major professor uh, to do the peer review, and he'll do it. Or if he doesn't have time, he passes it to the PhD student you know, who may or may not do it. And then that gets passed to the master student in the lab uh, who's forced to do it. And, uh, and here she is reading the manuscript to her pet fish. Uh, but you know, this is just a parody. Uh, more often than not, I see the senior researcher uh, will help uh, the early career researcher uh, to do a collaborative uh, peer review. And then the review gets submitted in the name of the, the supervisor. But it's a great first experience. And I always ask for the name and email address of the student and add them to the database later. You know, so, so when does your first assignment usually occur? Usually it's your PhD supervisor asking you to complete a review on their behalf, because they think it's a good experience for you. Um, or you're identified by like Web of Science, or you, know, you just get your name out there uh, because you're the first author on a paper and, and some editors will, will find you. So, um, Many journal editors uh, encourage early career researchers. I, for one, am, am, am one of them. And uh, I, I often ask the potential reviewer uh, if they can, uh, if they have a graduate student that can do it or a postdoc that can, that can do it. And uh, some of the best reviews I've ever seen have, have been done this way. Uh, 